Okay, so now we have number two. That says the students diagrammed their sentences. The students diagrammed their sentences. Okay, so take a look at that one and tell me, what is our verb? Right, diagrammed, okay? And who did the diagramming? Students, right? I single underline that one. And then what did the students diagram? They diagrammed the sentences, right? So that's our direct object. And then we would know that their, which sentences? Their sentences, that's an adjective. And which students? The students, that's an adjective too. So when we would go ahead and diagram, how would we diagram that? We would diagram students on the left and diagrammed on the right. Then after diagrammed, we would put our horizontal line and do sentences. Okay, and which kind of sentences? Our adjective coming off on a, a diagonal line. And then the students, right? As our other adjective. Hope you're understanding this. Now let's take a look at number three. Number three says, Lauren fed her baby sister some mashed fruit. So what is our verb? Fed, right. So we would double underline fed. And then what is our subject? Who did the feeding? Lauren, right, okay? And what did she feed? Here's our direct object. Fruit, right, okay? And now let me ask you, to whom did she feed? She fed her sister. Now we have an indirect object because we were able to answer that question. Now, which sister? The baby sister, that's an adjective. And which one, or whose sister? Her sister, another adjective, right? And what fruit? The mashed fruit, another adjective. And how much fruit? Some fruit, another adjective. So there we have where we've indicated everything we need to do our diagram. Now diagramming, we have to make sure we get all this on here. So we have fed is our verb and Lauren is our subject on the left. And then we have our line with our direct object of fruit, right? And then we have to remember that fruit has a couple of adjectives of some and mashed, okay? And then we now need to do our other adjectives for, oh, not yet. Okay, now we need to do our indirect object. And remember, our indirect object comes off of the verb, right? So we do our horizontal, our vertical, or I'm sorry, our diagonal line and then our horizontal line. And here we have sister is our indirect object, right? And then which sister? Um, the her sister and which one of her sisters, the baby one. Those are your adjectives showing your diagramming for number three. How are we all doing, good? Okay, number four says, Popeye eats spinach and builds muscles. So what is our verb? Eats, okay. Does Popeye do anything else? Yep, he builds. So there is our two, are you ready? Where's my little trick? Two uh, verbs. And who did the eating and the building? Popeye, right? That's our subject. And what did he eat? He ate spinach. There's our direct object for that one. And what did he build? He built muscles. That is our direct object for that one. Let me put this in a little bit better so you can see it. Okay, and so now we also have, what is this? And, and is our conjunction. Remember, don't forget conjunction. Now this is gonna look like a very different diagram than the other three we just did because now we have 
two verbs, right? When doing this diagram, we have to remember that we start off with our T and we go on this side and we're going to have Popeye, right? Okay, and then over here we have two. Remember, here's my rocket ship, right? So because we have two verbs, okay, so we have our conjunction goes in the rocket ship and then we also have, oh, by the way, you're going to be learning about rocket ships later. And then we also have eats and builds, right? Then we have our direct objects. So what did he eat? He ate spinach, right? And what else, what did he build? He built muscles. And remember, these are vertical lines right here after, okay? How's that? How are we liking? Good, good, doing good with this? I hope you guys are doing good with this and you're copying this down as I'm doing it on your diagram sheet, okay? Number five says, grandmother bought me a difficult puzzle. What is my action verb? Bought. So double underline bought. Then who did the buying? Right? Grandmother. Okay, and what did she buy? This is our direct object. Puzzle, right, she bought you a puzzle, right? Okay, let me ask you. And to whom did she give the puzzle to? She gave it to me. There is our indirect object, okay? Now we have what type of puzzle? A difficult puzzle. And which puzzle? Just a puzzle our other adjective, okay? Okay, diagramming this, we're gonna do the same thing coming off. We have grandmother. On the left, we have bought. On the right, we also have our direct object of puzzle. Okay, following along with me, right? And then we have, uh, we have the indirect object off of bot, which is me. And then we have which kind of puzzle, a puzzle, which kind, a difficult kind, right? U-L-T. Okay, so there is number five. I hope you guys are understanding how to diagram the direct object and di indirect object. Okay, we're now going to move on to think B and please make sure that you are keeping all of these ones we're doing together on one side of the diagram page. And I believe I did a double sided or gave you two, that way you could go ahead and do the think C on the other side, okay? Or on the other page. So here we go with think B. Think B says, underline the subject once and the verbs twice. Then put parentheses around the prepositional phrase and diagram these sentences on the paper. And then all of these will contain either a predicate nominative or a predicate adjective, okay? Number one says, the midday sun feels warm, okay? Let's take a look. What do you think the verb is here? Feels, right. So we're gonna double underline feels. And what is get feels? What are we feeling? We're feeling the sun, that's our subject. And let me ask you, how does it feel? It feels warm, right? So this is our predicate adjective because it's describing. Now we also have midday and the, so we know sun, which sun? Midday sun. Which sun? The sun. So that is going to be two more adjectives for when we do our diagramming. Now diagramming, this is a little bit different than direct object and indirect object. Remember, we start off with our line. On the left, we do still have our subject of sun. And then on the right, we have uh, feels. 
Okay, and now we have our predicate adjective. Now, this is a diagonal line, not a perfect vertical line up straight up and down. And what is our uh, predicate adjective? It is uh, warm, so we write that on the line, right? And then we also have to go ahead and do our two adjectives for sun, which is the and midday. And that is how we do the predicate adjective diagram again. Number two says, Peter, James, and John became fishers of men. Okay, so what is our verb? Became, right, okay? And who became? Ah, Peter, James, and John all became, right? So now we have three, here's my little trick, we have three subjects, right, okay? And what did they become? They became fishers, okay? Now this is unique, you're going, wait a minute, what do you mean fishers? Okay, here we are with predicate nominative because I'm renaming Peter, James, and John as fishers. And you go, but wait a minute, I have of men. Didn't they become men? Well, no, because of and men is a prepositional phrase because of is a preposition word. So remember, when you have a preposition phrase, you got to take a look at that and make sure you put your parentheses because that is not your predicate nominative. Okay, but we do have Fishers renaming Peter, James, and John, and that would be your predicate nominative. So when we go ahead and diagram this one, this one too is going to look a little bit different, right? Start off with our cross. What comes on this side? We have became, and what comes on this side is our rocket ship, right? And then you say, well, but that's only two. You're right, I've gotta go ahead and give my third line because there are three. Then we have and in the top of our rocket ship and we have Peter, James, John, okay? And they became fishers of men. So because they came, became fishers, we have to do our diagonal line for predicate nominative and we have to do fishers, okay? And then we also have, ah, oh, but we have our prepositional phrase. Well, don't forget that you do have to do prepositional phrase. Now, prepositional phrase, this one comes off of fishers, okay? They were fishers of men, which men would be our direct, or our object for the preposition. So here we have like this, and we have men, and we have of as our preposition word, and then our object is on the line. So do we remember how we did this back in a couple of weeks ago? Okay, so here is diagramming number two.